Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about how to acquire Catalyst and what's the best way to farm Catalyst in Epic 7. And I know there's already a lot of videos out there, but I'm just going to try my best to show you the way I do it, which is probably how most people do it. So first off, the most easiest way to farm Catalyst is say if you roll for Ray, right? This banner or whoever that comes out, they, they're usually going to have a side story that goes along with it. So of course you exchange and farm the side story here for the currency and then you buy the catalyst here as well as the things that help you, you know, level them up like the penguins and also the runes for awakening. So in this way, you know, you have the freedom to get what you're lacking here to complete your character. So in this case, even though I didn't roll for Ray, I copped the... Point of Desires here, as well as the Blazing Rage and the Mullah Gore Seed, of course. So this in this way, if you know new character comes out that require these kind of materials, I will be able to level them up because I have stashed up some Catalyst while they're available for you to farm. So that's one way to acquire more Catalyst for your character. I think it's the best way is to just clear the side story. The second method will be obviously adventure. So I'm gonna go into the adventure tab here and then say if I'm farming for a cold look, right? And then you can go on Google, you type cold look epic seven and then you go to this site called epic seven, seven X. They usually tell you the recommended level. So for cold look, it will be one dash six right here. Um, the thing is that this stage is not very good for auto because you have to like move through the maze. But the good thing is that in this particular stage, it drops the cold look itself, the catalyst. So you have a chance to get it here as well as dip into the AP exchange. Because um, as you can see right here, you can get five of them a week before it resets. So it's 120 AP for one. So obviously the best time is when there is an double AP event. So in this way you can farm up which other, whichever catalyst you're weak with. So in conjunction with farming this, obviously you're going to bring in your dog walker team. So it will look something along like this, the setup. So if I were to, you know, farm for Kolok, this I'll get a dog walker with a EXP, 10% uh, more EXP artifact, and then get a Phantasma or Giga Phantasma here in a fodder. So in this way you get you know, resources like equipment to sell, uh, goals you can get, and also two star fodders for leveling up your units. And I think this is, you know, the second way to acquire more um, catalyst. And it's something you should consider on your downtime when there's no event, when, you know, it's rerun, then you can consider, you know, stashing up some more. Also, uh, another thing is that usually there is unrecorded history. So there's adventure and unrecorded history. Sometimes it's better to go into unrecorded history. So for example, if I'm farming for, let's see, if I'm farming for like special time alarm loop, maybe you can farm this if you're strong enough. And this way you can have a chance to get an epic catalyst as well when you're farming for special time loop, alarm loop, and then the same thing, you can acquire these two with AP. So you're double dipping your effort per energy spent because then for sure you're guaranteed, you know, a special alarm loop for X amount of run you do to acquire 120 AP. Show you guys another stage here. So say for Twisted Fang, same thing. I think this is the stage it recommends on that site if you go there. For Twisted Fangs, here you get Kolok and Twisted Fangs, 8-S2, so if you need those, and then again, you can buy it at the AP Exchange Store. So in, in a way, you're ensuring that you will get the Catalyst. I think that's the best. So once again, if you want to know where it's best to farm those, check out Epic7X.com. Um, I think you just Google it. It's there. It's really popular. So the fourth method sorry the third method will be will be to visit the sanctuary here's the alchemist steeple so you can click on the catalyst here in this way you can you have the epic catalyst tab 
and the rare catalyst. Speak on the epic catalyst real quick. Say if I want to get Tarana Guard's last ability or awakening. So in this way, the best is to put three um, epic and then two two uh, tra uh, normal catalyst. This way, you just you need to spend a hundred k gold and this. So usually you get three of your likings. So it's kind of fair because it skips a uh, farm time where you can reallocate your farm energy for something else. That's one method to get Epicalis. For the rare one, this one I rarely do because it doesn't seem to have the same same amount same amount of yield. Because then you might need to put like seven, right? And I think. At max you get four back so the price is twenty five thousand plus three additional catalysts to get the one that you like but sometimes um if you have like this many catalysts like for example i have 51 here and i have 41 of these leather sheath i think or these uh i forgot what they're named so you have abundance of it then definitely um use this instead of your instead of the ones that you have low on like you know stuff like the the alarm loop here or the co look so in this way um you got to manage it you know without having to deny yourself you know other like uh what do you call these rare catalyst and this is the fast way of getting it by spending gold and a little bit of your currency to convert so the fourth method that uh, usually and other people can use is the request aid in the guild section here and obviously uh, it's best if you give away catalyst that you don't need because you're not building a character that requires it or enhanced skilled in that way you can you know don't have to feel bad about contributing and ideally you know if you're guildy you know, vice versa, are not building a character that required a catalyst you want for a character that you want to build, then effectively you're just, you know, exchanging in a way for the catalyst that you want. And both of you can, you know, prosper because, you know, both of you are getting stronger by awakening the character that you want for arena, PvP, you know, and many other type of content. Then also... Also in the member shop here, like if I have this much, you know, Brave Crest saved up, then I maybe can, you know, buy one of these and see what I get. So sometimes you get Epicalis. I didn't even know that, right? So maybe I try another one. You get another Epicalis. And let me try another. So, you know, if you're short Epicalis, maybe you can try your luck here. A random Epicalis, you know, to stash it up. In case you need to kind of do the the transmission like from the the depot the steeple where you can get the desired epic catalyst so for this one i don't really you know want to spend on that because i'm still i'm still trying to max my victorious flag for what whatever reason it is or you can get your transmit stone here in this case i can get this for the month and get myself a galaxy 7 so this is up to your own discretion if you want to spend to get epic catalyst or catalyst in this case also another note i don't do this myself because it's kind of tedious like if you do need a catalyst and the ideal farm stages in any of these then you might want to try to you know pair it up and squeeze as much uh value out of it because maybe sometimes you get a rare catalyst or sigma coins but i don't really recommend this but it's something you might you know consider so the f the fifth way it's you know from uh the weekly automaton tower i think they give out or they at least um you know as a reward you can get these you know catalyst thingy these gift boxes right so usually i save them up so if i were to level a character for the sixth awakening and I'm short like maybe a blazing soul, then I can quickly, you know, cash out and get that over with, right? So usually I just keep keep these, you know, on standby. And I think I've used my other callus box already. That's why I don't have them here to show you guys the rare ones. Uh, because I used it just like the same scenario. I needed that one to, you know, get that 
awakening completed so just to wrap it up i want to show you guys is remember you're gonna spend energy here to get both ap and a chance for a drop so ideally you want to get these two in <clears throat> when you're farming your catalyst and remember to dog walk so if you haven't checked out my video on dog walking it'll be on the top right corner so you know by running you know for catalyst you get both you know two star fodders here as you can see two star fodders as well as the desire catalyst to drop at the same time you're working towards filling your ap um points up you know to get 120 to exchange for one so here you're doing many things at the same time dog walking here so also you know ask your guild for help you know they might be nice enough to give you the catalyst that you need but of course remember to you know give some back so you, they don't feel at a loss here and you know keep a good relationship going ask you right here and then also you know member shop <clears throat> there's a chance for it for the epic one as you've seen 180 of those you know whatever guild point it is so if you have you know like 8,000 like me saved up then why not just chance it build up your stash that's one way to have enough enough catalyst when things come out or you can exchange it through alchemist depot anyway guys this is a video on you know farming catalyst awakening your units as always thank you guys for watching and until next time i'll see you guys